welcome ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for watching the show. This is your Top Think Tanks Review, I'm your host, Bryce Dolan. Now according to the Council on Foreign Relations, Vladimir Putin's tenure as Russia's dictator has been dedicated to twin interlocking goals, to enhance his own power and wealth, and that of the country he controls. The more powerful Russia becomes, after all, the more powerful its president becomes too. In pursuit of more influence, Putin has tried to rebuild the Russian armed forces from a force of low quality conscripts equipped with weapons that don't work to a high quality professional force with cutting edge weapons. That transformation only partially complete has been shown off in Syria, which Putin has used as a showcase for systems including the sleek caliber missile and the smoke belching aircraft carrier Admiral Kuznetsov. But as befits an old KGB man, Putin's heart appears to lie more with deniable covert operations rather than with overt muscle flexing. Putin has become notorious for using little green men, Russian intelligence operatives and Spetsnaz special forces in civilian clothing, to infiltrate Ukrainian territory and start an uprising among the Russian speaking population. And it worked! Russia annexed Crimea and has gained de facto control over much of eastern Ukraine. This tactic of undertaking barely disguised aggression has become known as hybrid warfare, and it has consistently left the West wrong-footed because Putin is careful to avoid crossing the normal red lines. The West has been, the West has been even more flummoxed by Putin's campaign of political warfare designed to subvert anti-Russian regimes and replace them with more pliable leaders. The most high-profile manifestation of this effort was the hacking of the Democratic National Committee and other Democratic targets in an attempt, as the CIA has now concluded, to swing the US presidential election toward Donald Trump, the most pro-Russian politician in America since the heyday of Franklin D. Roosevelt's agriculture secretary, Henry Wallace. Russian internet trolls were also busy putting out anti-Clinton, pro-Trump stories, many of them demonstrably false. So ladies and gentlemen, we see this new type of warfare, or not really new, but the new name, hybrid warfare, that Putin is utilizing with these little green men that he used to annex Crimea and take over most of Ukraine, and is in control of eastern Ukraine. Now it only begs the question of what are his intentions with Donald Trump? The intelligence community, independent cybersecurity firms, and a number of private individuals have concluded that Russia has had a role in the hacks of the Democratic National Committee and the US presidential election with the false media, the fake news, and all of that on social media. So really, does Putin really like Donald Trump? Or is he just wanting to use him as a puppet? Unfortunately, only time will tell, and from my opinion, and from my point of view, it's beginning to look like that Putin is going to use Trump as a puppet to control the United States. But again, only time will tell, and hopefully, I'm wrong. Now ladies and gentlemen, you can check out this article in its entirety. You can find the link below in the description. I encourage you to check it out. While you do that, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can get notified every time a new video is posted. Give our Facebook pages a like and follow us on Twitter. But that does it for the Top Think Tanks review. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I was your host, Bryce Dolan.